Okay, good morning for uh, grade 7 and welcome back to our practice problem 1 as we're go going to continue our discussion for mass concentration. Our practice problem 1 stated that if you have a solution of salt or sodium chloride in water, the solution contains 90 grams of salt and 10 grams of water. The solubility of salt at this temperature is 36 grams per 100 grams of water. Determine its composition and its solution type. So our given in this problem are... Let me change. Okay. So our given... One is our solution that contains 90 grams of salt and 10 grams of water. So we have solute. This is NaCl, which is equal to 90 grams. Our solvent, which is equal to water. That is equal to 10 grams. And our unknown is the mass concentration or its composition. And type of solution so we have letter a and letter b for our formula the mass concentration is equal to uh, the mass of solute Divide by the total mass of solution. Multiply by 100%. And for our solution, given unknown formula, GUF. For our solution, we will substitute the given value to our formula. So, the percentage composition is equal to the mass of solute, which is the 90 grams of water, divided by the total mass of solution, which is 90 grams plus 10 grams, multiplied by 100%. And using our calculator, okay, so we will use our calculator. The fraction sign, 90 was 90 plus 10 multiplied by 100, execute, and the answer is 90. So the percentage composition is equal to, sorry, the percentage composition the percentage composition is equal to 90%. So what type of solution are we having right now? 
since the solution exceeds the solubility value given by this problem into 90%, since 30 grams per 100 grams of water only can be dissolved, and we have 90% of the total mass solution. Thereafter, this can be considered as a saturated solution. What is the explanation why it becomes a saturated solution? That's right. In this problem, we start with solution of 90 grams of salt at 10 grams of water. To determine whether it is saturated, and saturated, or supersaturated, we first calculate the mass concentration using the formula for mass concentration. After performing the calculation, we find that the mass concentration is 90%. To classify the solution, we compare this concentration to the solubility limit, which is 36 grams per 100 grams of water. Since the actual concentration is 90%, it exceeds the solubility limit. This solution is considered as saturated. It means that no more salt can dissolve in a given amount of water at this temperature, making it a saturated solution. So this is our uh this is how we work out with the problem which involves the mass concentration and determining what type of solution it is. I hope you learn a lot. Thank you very much.